Uh, Mariah wrote us this email. If you can help her out, we can take good care of you uh, just for helping out. Fellow uh, DFW listener here. She says, hey, Scotty and Brett, I listen every day on my way to work. Thank you for giving me something to listen to every day. She didn't say something good. She just said something to listen to. Uh, I'm getting married this spring, and I have a question that I need some answers for. This will be my second marriage. I have two kids, ages 8 and 10, and I was thinking I want their dad slash my ex-husband to walk me down the aisle. We were married for 16 years and known each other for over 23 My dad passed away a few years ago, and when thinking of who I wanted to walk me down the aisle, I thought of him. He's one of my best friends. I thought it was a great thing for my kids to see how well we get along, and someone that gave me the greatest thing in my life is my kids. Before I run it by my fiance, I kind of wanted some outside opinions if this is something I should even consider. Thank you, guys. Mariah. There you go. The ex-husband walking her down the aisle is interesting that, is that a good idea you, you know were what kind of like hell no it seemed like me yeah you were kind of like i don't know man i'm mind blown by this yeah i uh i'm listen she brings up some good points yeah i thought so too actually but and before i because i i saw the headline and i was like oh there's no way this can work and then she's as i read through it there's some good points in there i think it's really really asking for some awkwardness or See, I'm so on the fence because I have a really good relationship with my son's mom. Yeah. But I wasn't invited to the wedding when they got married. Oh, you weren't? No. I, wasn't I guess invited. I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's true. Um, And that was just simply out of lack of distractions, I guess. Maybe. Uh, it sounds so, like this guy's getting invited to the wedding. He's the best friend. He's going to get right. invited to the wedding, though. But here's 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 my uh, question. I want to know from not only women, uh, other women, that your opinion, but also guys, if you were the hu- the new husband how would you feel if uh you know would you be okay with that ex-husband walking her down the aisle good morning kayla good morning how are you uh, doing well what do you think uh mariah should even consider having her ex-husband walk her down the aisle i think that that's the craziest idea i've ever heard <laughs> i was like i can only imagine how that conversation would go with her fiance like hi honey do you mind if a man that i was in love with walks me to you that just does not sound right. <laughs> Kayla Kayla played this all out in her head. Yeah, she, she, she had the whole thing. She, I, she actually knew what dress she was wearing and everything, yeah. I think there's a happy medium that I, I told you that I think we can come to. Um, Nikki in Arlington. Good morning, Nikki. Nikki, are you there? Hey, I'm here. Good morning. Awesome. Nikki, what do you think? You think Mariah is crazy or do you think this could work? No, I think this could work. I mean, this is her life. This is her wedding. If someone thinks it it's weird, hey, this is so easy. Uninvite them. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Nikki. Great, great it's point. So your wedding. Great point. Thank you, Nikki. But you, you had a solution, you said. Yeah, so to me, the whole walking down the aisle thing, the thing I don't like about it is the symbolism that it's like you're giving the bride away. Right. And your ex shouldn't be the one giving you away. And I kind of like it when nobody walks somebody down the aisle, too. Like, I'm an independent woman. No one needs to give me away. I'm making a choice to marry this person. She said her dad was already passed away. Someone doesn't have to walk you down the aisle. If you want your ex involved in the wedding because he is your best friend and someone who's so important to you, have him be your maid of honor. You know, sure. like, yeah, yeah, there's you another option. To, yeah, have them give a speech at the wedding. The whole walking down the aisle is too symbolic, and you right. don't need that symbolism. Uh, I, I, I think that's a great idea that you don't have to do that. If she's going to... I told you I fell on one side or the yeah, other. So which I side say, are you? Absolutely do it. Yes. Do it. Okay. That it would be great. And and I thought about the more I thought about my situation and my son who lives in Chicago with his mom and stepdad and the amount I think there's a such a misconception and an some an assumption that's kind of old school that these people can't get along. Like her, oh, his yeah. stepdad and I get along great. I stay at their house if I have to because uh, instead of getting a hotel, we all go to dinner together. And I do think when it comes down to things like that. I think it sets a new precedence for what co-parenting and mixed families can be. And I think that that is more positive. And that powerful statement of saying, we are all a family and we respect each other enough to be able to go ahead and do things like this. Is, is a powerful statement. I but think if the biggest another, thing is right. the walking down the aisle is the symbolism of giving somebody away, and I think but that's doesn't have to be. That's also um, everybody can interpret things different ways. So if you're gonna, so if it is that symbolism for you, then yeah, don't do yeah. yeah I like yeah. your solution. That, uh, yeah, if yeah. it is, if it do, if you perceive it as uh, being something totally different, it can you can create a new symbolism, and that's the glory sure. of the world we live in. You can create whatever you want as a tradition or as a symbolic. Uh, starting now. Yeah, the reason the question is posed is because of the symbolism, though. Uh, 
is it though? That, yeah, that's why we asked the question because it could be the, the symbolism or it could just be the awkwardness of like relate to uh, like an ex, you know. Sure. So it doesn't necessarily be. So yes, it depends on how you interpret it. 